Here are four steps you can take to change your sense of self starting right now. These four steps are based on the idea that your sense of self is indeed fluid, it's not solid. Step number one is to write down a compelling and clear vision from your heart around the kind of person you want to be. What are your core values, your core aspirations? What are the attributes that you would like to develop within yourself that you see are missing or deficient right now? What does your ideal sense of self really look like? And do this exercise from your heart. So the, you're tapping into core desires here, not just surface desires of the ego. So take a few minutes to write down in detail what your vision is for yourself. Step two is to practice surrender. So whatever physical reality is giving you right now in your circumstances and also in your identity, your thoughts, your feelings, your limits, your current behaviors, exactly who you are and how your life is right now, shower it with with love and surrender. Surrender is a portal into activating your infinite power. And this is the crucial missing link for so many of us. We try to change our lives, change ourselves from a place of lack and resistance. Surrender opens you up to the abundance of what's here now, that there's an innate divine perfection underlying your entire existence. So who you are right now is not flawed, it's not limited, it's not damaged. And we want to get you into a truthful place with where you're at right now and neutralize all resistance. Step three is to imagine already being in the ideal outcome of who you want to be. You're already there. How does that feel in your body? How do you carry yourself in time and space? And you start to get intimate with this new self that you are creating. You start visualizing it in your mind and owning the frequency state that it produces. So you have to train your nervous system to, system to get acquainted with this new way of being. And the best way to do that is to live in the end, to imagine already being there and start to visualize and feel in your body and your nervous system the new frequencies, the new energies, the new emotions that are produced from living in this ideal state that you want to become. You're already there. There's no such thing as linear time. You've collapsed that whole way of seeing and there's just now. And in this moment, you're already that. So you have to be willing to kind of bypass the logical mind, the intellect to do this exercise effectively. And remember, there's no way to fail. There's nothing to judge here. You're just playing. You're just experimenting. And then step four is to take inspired action from this place. So in a sense, you're reverse engineering the new behaviors, the new action steps that are based on this new identity that you're carving out. So it's not just about bottling it up and keeping it all inside. It's like extending it to the world and starting to choose new behaviors, new habits, new action steps from this new perspective. These are the four best ways to make permanent shifts in your identity and to change your sense of self for good.